The local weather authority forecast. We warn you first. Well, Jacob, I think a lot of people went to bed last night expecting to see some snow this morning, but yeah. we were just talking about this during the break, about how much we didn't expect we were going to see. Oh, I know. How I, much of it, I guess. I know. We, we really got more than I was expecting for yeah. sure. Um, but also nice to see, you know, we've had a couple snow days here recently, but, you know, I always love seeing that snow here in West Texas. Take a look at things right now. Just some clouds hanging around the Permian Basin. You can see north and west that's north and east, excuse me, of Abilene. You can see that snow is still remaining, but our area completely clear of that. No snow for the Permian Basin right now. Mountains and Trans-Pecos may be a flurry here or there, but it looks like y'all missed it completely. That snow way out to our east now, even out of the Metroplex. So things are clearing up and they are getting cooler too. And with those cooling temperatures, we are expecting some fog and freezing fog as we get into tomorrow morning, as well as some ice on the roads uh, as we head to work and school, things like that, just want to be cautious. You know, if you can stay home, great. We already mentioned several of the closings that we do have right now in the Permian Basin and across West Texas. And uh, you can go to our website for a complete list of exactly what's happening tomorrow. The good news is a warmer week is ahead, so things are going to get better after tomorrow morning when things start to warm up. We will see a pretty nice week after that. Here's a look at some snow totals today. 3.7 inches reported in Midland Odessa area. That's at Midland International Airport. And even more up in Hobbs, the big winner with 9 inches. Seminole with 6.8. 3.8 in Big Springs, so a lot of snow in the northern and or northern and northeastern Permian Basin. I know folks in La Mesa currently seeing some fog and some tough conditions there, but a lot of snow still on the ground there in West Texas. Now, things didn't really get that warm today. Only 35. You can see our normal at 57. We missed that by a long shot, but our lows coming in exactly where they should be for this time of year. Thank goodness it wasn't 5 degrees like it was in 1962. I know I would be a little chilly there. But, you know, things were nice to go outside and play today. We've got a lot more pictures of your snowmen coming up. A lot of good ones I saw out there. But like I mentioned earlier, we do have a chance for fog and freezing fog as we get into tomorrow. Now, let's take a look at right now, things getting pretty low visibility in the Permian Basin, the northern Permian Basin, too. You can see Snyder currently 0.0. .0. Same with Big Spring. It's going to continue tonight and even into tomorrow morning. So this is one of the reasons why we we do have that delay and cancellation of a lot of schools tomorrow. As you can see at 8 a.m., we're still seeing very low visibility across the Eastern Basin, even the Midland Odessa area, and into the Trans Pecos as well. The city of Pecos seeing 0.6 miles of visibility by the time we get to 8 a.m. And even by the time we get to 10 a.m., there's some limited visibility as well, especially out in Big Spring, Midland Odessa as well, Snyder too. All this to say, let's be really cautious on those roads tomorrow as visibility will be low and chance for ice as well. The ice now is just melted snow but does have a chance of refreezing. You see it will be really really cold tomorrow morning 22 at 8 a.m. We do heat up to about 39 but I do expect those morning hours to be where that really starts to freeze over on those roads and makes things really slick. Lots of sunshine though as we get into the day and some pretty low winds as well. So things going to be a nice day after the tomorrow morning, but things going to be very cold before then. Now look right now, as we head into tomorrow morning, a lot of teens popping up in the north, northern Permian Basin, southeastern New Mexico as well. And I do expect Midland and Odessa to be significantly cooler than what we're seeing here, about 10 degrees across I-20 and even towards Wink there. Tomorrow afternoon, we'll heat up to kind of the mid to high 30s, but... Like I said, the northern basin going to be much cooler as the sun tries to burn off that snow and brings our temperatures down because it's using all of that heat to burn out that snow. Now here's a look at the rest of the week. Things going to be looking very nice as we head through the week. Thursday, a high of 65. I mean, after the summer or the winter we've had, I consider that borderline warm. And then we do have a really nice weekend ahead of us, John. 63 by the time we get to Saturday and 53 on Sunday, a little cooler there, but the good news is that snow out of the forecast, lots of clear skies ahead and dry conditions. 65 on Thursday. I mean, I'm going to be outside for that. I don't know about you. Yeah, I don't know. But, you know, one thing I do know is that West Texas.